Welcome on in, everybody. Today we are talking about a very beginner-friendly fish, the beautiful one-spot fox face. Right away to start with, this is a beginner-friendly fish, a real easy guy to take care of. They're great for algae control. If you're having bubble algae, if you're having just algae growing on your rocks and you don't like the way it looks, this guy will go through and provide a great service, cleaning up your stuff, getting it nice and algae-free. Now, what are you going to spend on this guy? Average, you're looking at about $110, give or take, and that's depending on size. Uh, max size is 8 inches for one of these guys, so it'll, it'll vary depending on uh, how far along he is in his growth process and what we get him in at. As for tank size with these guys, you'll see a lot of uh, different things thrown around on the internet from 70 to 100. Uh, we like to recommend that you get at least a 90 gallon for these. They're uh, really active swimmers. They like a lot of rock to hide on, a lot of rock to grow the algae that they like to graze on, and they are really shy at first when you first get them in, so you're gonna wanna have ample places for them to hide and kinda tuck away when they're feeling a little shy. And as these fish get bigger, just for their comfort and for their happiness and well-being, I would upgrade that tank size to a 125 once it's all said and done. Another thing to note with these guys is that they will have some drastic color changes when you first get them or if anything stresses them out. Don't be alarmed by that. It's perfectly normal. That's how they try to camouflage into their surroundings and make themselves a little bit less visible to predators. Now, one of the big questions, are fox face reefs safe? The answer is yes, with caution. If you're providing a balanced diet, which we'll touch on here shortly, uh, you're not really gonna run into any problems with them nipping at coral. Um, two to three times a day feeding, um, lots of seaweed strips, lots of uh, algae for them to graze upon. And from personal experience, I've never had one of these guys nip at any of the coral. Uh, they've always been well behaved. so. Always with caution, but generally speaking, yes, reef safe fish. Now to touch on that diet we mentioned earlier, they are herbivorous at heart, so they'll want lots of seaweed, lots of nori, uh, two to three times a day if you're able to, will keep them really happy and well fed. Uh, it does best if you're clipping your seaweed strips, that way it doesn't float around and they can just go up to it and pick at it as they please. And then supplementing that with some meatier stuff like the mysis shrimp, will keep them really well-rounded and really well-fed and happy. Now, as for temperament on the fox face, this is a peaceful fish. Uh, there's an asterisk there with other fox faces, regardless of what type or variation you get. They will beef with each other. They will war with each other. Uh, so to keep them peaceful, make sure whatever fox face you get is the one of one in your tank and you will not have any problems. All right, so how about water conditions and parameters? So salinity for these guys, you're gonna want 1.020 to 1.1025. For temperature, you're gonna want a good 72 to 78 degrees. DKH is eight to 12, and pH, you'll want that balance of 8.1 to 8.4. All right, one special note here with a couple asterisks is these guys are venomous. Uh, you'll notice when they're nice and big and flared up, those dorsal spines have some pretty impressive potent looking spikes on them uh, while they are peaceful and they will tend to run away from you while you're messing around in your tank do be cautious and do seek medical attention right away if you do get tagged and for some it might make you feel better if you're wearing some gloves perhaps some sort of glove that's uh, stab resistant or poke resistant all right one final note on this guy you heard me mention the algae control aspect earlier so to circle back around on that a lot of people will go and get snails or crabs or various invert cleanup crew and while there's certainly nothing wrong with that you might entertain the idea of getting one of these guys because they really are fantastic algae control hair algae the green algae growing on your glass and your rocks the bubble algae that you might have pop up somewhere all of them, they'll take care of it. They love eating any sort of algae. They love going to town, enjoying their herbivorous diet. Um, and they're a longtime companion for you to have in your tank, something that's gonna be a bit more personable with you. And that is gonna do it for our informational video on the One Spot Fox Face today. As always, make sure to smash that like button, kick the subscribe button, and make sure to keep an eye out for our next video. We love doing these for you guys. Drop a comment. What do you want to hear about next? What kind of fish do you want to hear information about that you're maybe on the fence on? 
and let us know if there's any other things that you'd like us to touch on. As always, we appreciate it.